Good morning, everybody. It is 9.25 right now. I've been up since my mom went for work, but I did my hair. Now I'm downstairs. I'm going to be making my breakfast. I made overnight oats again. I told you guys how to make them in my last video, but tonight I'll show you guys exactly how I make my oatmeal. I'm just going to put this in the micro, like you guys know. While that's in the micro, I'm going to cut my banana. I think I'm going to be putting some strawberries in today. I usually don't. I'll just put like banana and cinnamon like I've showed you guys. But we have some strawberries, and I think I'm going to be putting some slices of strawberry today. We also have blueberries, but I'm not a big fan of blueberries, so I won't be using blueberries. I'll try the strawberries out. Um, I'm just going to do half a banana, and then I'm going to slice up some strawberries on top. My mom pre-washed the strawberries, so the strawberries are ready to be eaten. It's Monday morning right now. I'm eating my breakfast. I served myself some coffee, and I'm already using the Valentine's Day cups. It just says you're possum. Later on tonight, I'll show you exactly how I make my oatmeal. It really is good, guys. So I'll definitely show you guys how to make it. I really want you guys to try it. So I'm going to eat my breakfast. And then um, I was going to tell you guys a couple of things. Let me show you guys this cool ring light. I got it off of Amazon the other day. And it comes with like the three different lightings. So and then you can dim them. But it comes with that, that. I like this one better. But let me show you guys really quick. It has this clip and I can literally clip it anywhere that I want except right now I don't have anywhere to clip it. So I'm holding the light and the camera. So it's getting a little heavy. I was going to update you guys on the gym. I think I had mentioned that we were going to do it like mid-January. We're already coming to the end of January and we haven't done it. We're still working on the garage. It's a lot more than we thought. Like we really thought it would be a lot faster than this. Um, but it is like going through things. And But for now we're just trying to like figure out where we're going to put the stuff that we're keeping. So there's that but we do have an elliptical so i'm gonna start using the elliptical because i really do want to start like eating better getting healthy and working out so i think if i start with cardio until we can get like the what is it called the weight set or like the gym set into the garage then i'll start doing weights so i think for now that'll be good to start doing cardio while we're still working on the gym that's a little update on the garage we're still working on the garage and it won't be done before january so maybe february i really don't know but we're gonna try we're gonna try and do it fast or as fast as we can but i wanted to update you guys on the garage because i know i had said mid-january but that's not gonna happen because we're already past mid-january if anything it'll be like beginning of february middle of february or like sometime in between there and then i'll keep you guys updated on that but um i don't know i don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing like a i don't want to call it like a fitness journey but it kind of is going to be but at the same time it's also like a lifestyle change i want to change like what i eat i want to change um well yeah that's pretty much it i want to change like my lifestyle so i don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing that stuff let me know if you guys would be interested in that i'm leaning towards posting that type of stuff that's my update right now i'm gonna eat my breakfast drink my coffee and then i will talk to you guys a little later it is quite a bit later i ate my breakfast it's like one right now what did i do i ate my breakfast oh i cleaned the house a little bit i vacuumed but i did move this so i'm gonna show you guys this real quick i ended up bringing the elliptical from the downstairs room because it was in there and over here we used to have a little keyboard piano thing we had been saying that we wanted to move the elliptical to like be out here in the living room so that way when we're on the elliptical we can like watch tv and stuff we had been talking about it for a while we just never did it so i just did it today i moved the keyboard into the downstairs room and then i brought the elliptical out here i'm officially going to start doing cardio the reason we decided to bring the elliptical out was so that way we can start doing cardio and we can watch tv because the tv's right here so it's going to be perfect we'll be doing our cardio while we watch tv um a lot of people like to listen to music but i'm the type of person that i like to see things i like to watch shows when i used to do cardio and stuff i I would always watch Riverdale so watching shows while I do my workouts um, kind of get me through the workout because I really don't like to do cardio but if I'm doing cardio watching TV it really does help me like um, it like helps the time go faster it's not as boring so that's why we decided to bring it out here my mom also likes to watch TV my mom likes to watch TV and she likes to listen to music so like she'll switch but I personally love to watch TV while I'm working out That's something that I did today. Um, I'm gonna start making dinner. I wanted to like show you guys I know I said it was one but the dinner that I'm gonna be making is supposed to go in the fridge I'm gonna take you guys to the kitchen and we're gonna cook dinner So what I'm making today is I'm gonna be making some chickpea salad. It's almost like a chicken salad not really because it's of beans, but um, or peas pretty much it's supposed to be like a replacement of chicken salad but it's chickpea salad and it tastes really really good even if you guys aren't like vegetarians which i'm a vegetarian i'm not vegan i still eat hard boiled eggs or eggs cheese milk so pretty much this even if you guys aren't vegans or vegetarians i definitely recommend trying this um i know i recommend everything that i eat but it's because 
I really enjoy the things that we eat or the things that we make. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how we make our chickpea salad. I used two cans of chickpeas, one can of peas. I already washed the lids on both of these so they're ready to be open. And then, and then we use lettuce. I used two romaine lettuce, like the whole, what are they called? Lettuce heads? Not lettuce heads, they're these. I used two romaine hearts. They're called romaine hearts, so I used two romaine hearts. And then for seasoning, I'm gonna use chopped chives, paprika, salt, and pepper. I forgot to grab the mustache, so I'm gonna be using dash. Um, just the original seasoned blend. These are the ingredients that you're gonna need. Let me set you guys down. I was watching uh, National Treasures, so I'll probably watch that if I do a little montage. I also wanted to say, since I'm gonna be putting like my hands and stuff. I noticed like when I'm editing, you guys can see the scratches on my hands and my arms. It's because of Luna when I'm playing with him, like one little scratch or one little bite will like cut you. I do cut his nails, but the days that like they're growing out, he ends up scratching me. So if you guys notice like all the little scratches, that's what it is. Um, I just wanted to say that because I'm like, I'm full of like little scratches. When I'm editing my videos, I'm always like, oh, you can see all my scratches, but I've never actually told you guys what they're from. I'm sure you guys have probably put it together. I have a cat. So the scratches on my hands are from my cat. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to tell you guys so that way you guys knew. So I'm going to put this actually to the side. And then this is my bowl that I'm going to be using. Usually, oh, you need to drain the chickpeas. I forgot to tell you guys that. Usually what we'll do is we'll put the chickpeas like drained into the bowl. And then with a the fork, you just like mash them. But because I don't really want to scratch this bowl up, I'm going to be using the ninja and putting my chickpeas in here. Then kind of like pulsing them so that way they don't get mushy. I took the juice out of the chickpeas and I rinsed them. So drain them and rinse them. And then I just put them in my cup. I'm going to do one can at a time because obviously both won't fit. Super fast this way. Using the fork kind of takes forever. But then you also need to be careful that you don't like over blend them because they will get mushy. Oh, is it connected? Yeah. You see like right away this will get mushy so you kind of have to like move it. For some reason these aren't moving so I'm going to move the ones that are ready into the bowl. And then we'll blend it again. I'm going to do the second one off camera, but I'm just going to do the exact same thing. I just thought of something that would make it probably a little easier. So instead of putting the whole can all at once, I'm just going to put like a small amount. So that way they don't get super mushy. It'll be a little faster because um, I won't have to like shake it and stuff. So there we go. That's actually pretty easy. I completely forgot to tell you guys you need mayonnaise. You need mayonnaise to mix it. So this is how our mixture came out with the chickpeas. Which is that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up our lettuce. Oh, also, you just cut them like really thin. So like thin slices of lettuce and not super long. one and a half of the lettuce hearts so I'm just gonna cut this up and save it for a salad for tomorrow I mixed the lettuce with the chickpeas so now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna put the mayonnaise then we're gonna season it and then we'll add our peas I'm gonna do two tablespoons of mayonnaise and then we'll go from there to mixes because it should be like a consistency of like um like a dip maybe I'm gonna add this seasonings now i'm just gonna like do dashes i don't know tablespoons and stuff a good amount of pepper and some mrs dash i'm gonna do some chopped chives usually we don't use chopped chives I'm just gonna put some. And then we do use paprika. I'm gonna mix this all together and then we'll see if we need to add more uh, mayonnaise. It looks a little dry so I'm gonna add one more tablespoon of mayonnaise and then I think that might be good. I'm gonna add a little bit more paprika and then a little bit more pepper. And then I'm gonna add some pepper. 
I think that might be all that it's missing. I was about to say like, oh, that's it. This is how it looks. But I completely forgot to add the peas. So I'm going to add the whole can of peas, mix it up, and then put this in the fridge. Okay, guys, this is how it ended up coming out. It looks super good. I don't know if you guys would like it, but I really do enjoy this. So if you guys want to try it out, then just use the stuff that I used. And it's pretty simple. It takes maybe like... 30 minutes to do so i'm gonna cover this with the lid and then put this in the fridge for like the next couple hours we'll eat this with tostadas and it's super good good morning guys it is the next day um i just kind of woke up well i've been up for maybe like 30 minutes my mom just left to work yesterday i told you guys that i wanted to start doing cardio which is right there and then i also want to start doing like stretches every morning so that way like i can start being more flexible um in high school i was super flexible because i was in cheer um and every day we would run a mile and stretch like for 20 30 minutes i haven't done that since high school so i really can feel like my muscles like pulling or like hurting when i do try and stretch i'm gonna start stretching before i do my workouts right now on tv i have this 10 minute yoga that i'm gonna do so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to play this yoga video for 10 minutes and then get on the tread. No, I was going to say treadmill. On the elliptical for another, I think, like maybe 25 minutes. I just finished doing the yoga um, it was really nice I really enjoyed it but I really do need to start stretching which it's good that I'm doing this because it's gonna help me stretch but my muscles are so tight like it hurt I'm gonna jump on the elliptical for maybe like 30 minutes then go and shower and then have breakfast okay guys I just got into the shower I'm gonna warm up my overnight oats I completely forgot to show you guys how I made it I did it last night and then after I was like I said I was going to show them how to make it. So tonight, I will definitely show you guys. I need to remember. I feel so good after doing the yoga and the elliptical. I haven't worked out in a really long time. Um, so it felt good, and I still have the whole day ahead of me. I ended up doing 30 minutes on the elliptical. Yesterday, I did 15, I think, or 16. But today, I pushed for the 30 minutes, and I was starting to feel like the sweat. So I think a little by little I'll get back up to 45 minutes because at 45 minutes I would be dripping sweat and I would wear that sweat thing, you know, I don't know what it's called. It kind of looks like a trash bag, but um, I would wear that too. So eventually I'll get back into doing that or wearing that. I think the 30 minutes was pretty good for today. I do need to go to the post office. I don't know if I'll go today or if I'll go tomorrow, but I need to go drop off the wax kit that I have. I need to go drop off that wax kit before February 1st. So I only have this week and I think next Monday, but I would really like to get that done this week. I really don't think I'll go today. If anything, I will go tomorrow for sure. I just made my oatmeal, so I'm going to eat this. Go watch some TV. I think I'm going to watch Encanto, so I'm going to go watch that, eat my breakfast. I need to make my coffee really quick, but other than that, that's pretty much it for right now. It is 5.03 right now. I'm going to be making our breakfast for tomorrow already because we're going to be going over to my cousin's house to make candy bags for my little cousin Danica because they're going to have her a little birthday party this Saturday. So we're going to go over today to help with the candy bags. But I wanted to show you guys before today ends or before I forget exactly how I make my overnight oats. But we have some chia seeds here. We need to go to the store to get some more actually. But this will be enough for maybe like two more. And then we have our ground flax seed right here. We use the unsweet almond milk i love the silk brand i don't know why it just tastes a little better to me and then i do put a little bit of the organic maple syrup and then our rolled oats so i'm gonna put everything together to tell you guys how much i put we have our crunchy peanut butter so i'm gonna start with the oatmeal we, we do half a cup of oats and then with the milk if you want to measure it then it's a cup but i usually will just like i kind of already know where a cup ends so it's at half of the mason jar so right about there is good and then i'll do the same for this one and then I'll do a tablespoon of the ground flaxseed. And then for the chia seeds, they say to do a teaspoon. I just put about that much. For the maple syrup, I'll literally just put like that much. I don't know if that's a lot, but that's how much I put. Just put a little bit more like that. To me, I don't think I put a lot of syrup. For others, it might be a little too much, but I think that's a little bit. For my mom's oatmeal, I'll put a tablespoon of peanut butter. And then for mine, I usually put a tablespoon and like a half. 
and then that's it that's how i make my overnight oats guys um it's really easy it's just these ingredients peanut butter maple syrup milk ground flaxseed chia seeds and then the oatmeal and that's pretty much it i'll just mix it all together so i'm gonna finish mixing this one and then put it in the fridge and they'll be ready for tomorrow morning Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. Last night, I told you guys we were going to go over to my cousin's house to help my uncle make my little cousin's candy bags. Her birthday party is on Saturday, which is in two days. So that leaves me tomorrow to make her cake. I'm going to be doing her a little LOL surprise doll cake. It's going to be really simple. We got a little LOL surprise doll toy, and I'm going to be putting that on top and then just with like some sprinkles. Saturday is going to be her drive by birthday parade. I'll definitely vlog that for you guys. So I'll vlog on Saturday and then vlog the weekend i'm gonna make myself some breakfast i just made my mom overnight oats yesterday because i didn't want to have overnight oats so my plans are to have some egg with onion and then an everything bagel these are the bagels that we use these are the dave's killer bread they're just the epic everything seasoning i seasoned my eggs with this the everything bagel seasoning recently i started putting a little bit in my eggs and it tastes so good so uh this is the one i use i'm gonna make my breakfast and then my cousin is supposed to come over today to wax her armpits because she's gonna be going to disneyland in maybe like two weeks a few weeks i don't know the exact dates but she's gonna be going to disneyland so she wants me to wax her armpits so that they'll last throughout the whole trip she told me she would be able to come over today but i really don't know i haven't talked to her so they'll probably come maybe around 12 if not in the afternoon It's a couple hours after what you guys just saw. My cousin didn't end up showing up to do her armpits. She did post that she was getting her hair done, so she's getting her hair done. I don't know if they'll come later. But like I said, it's a couple hours later. I'm going to be making some dinner right now. I already prepared some asparagus and cebollitas. They're right there, and I'm going to be putting them in the air fryer. We're going to be doing some tacos of tempeh. I don't know if it's tempeh, tempeh or tempeh. Um, it's just this one. I showed this to you guys in Vlogmas. We're going to be trying it out today. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be making some dinner. If my cousin doesn't come today, then I'm just going to end the vlog right here i feel like this video or this vlog has been a lot of cooking or like preparing my meals because i didn't really do anything this week so sorry about that next week's vlog will be a little bit more fun because it's going to be my little cousin's birthday and then just stuff that we do throughout the weekend if this is the end of the video then i will see you guys in next week's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys next week bye